Hi guys, do you know you can now automatically create Power BI reports from your published data sets? So this is a new feature I believe that has come in at the end of September and I was just exploring around this and I figured out it's a very good way to you know create your own basic reports. So to start along with if you have a published data set or if you have a data set which is ready to publish you can automatically create a basic report in Power BI directly. So to do that, once you publish your data set into Power BI service and when you're into Power BI service, you have to come on to the panel here on the left and click on create. Once you click on create, you will get two options, paste or manually enter or public a published data set. Now, once you click on publish data set, you will find a data set that you have published into the service. So in this case, I'll use the sales sample. Now, once you click on sales sample, you have two options, auto create report and create a blank report. So once you create an auto create report, Power BI will automatically analyze your data and create a basic report for you. So this will help you analyze you know, whatever measures or dimensions that you have created uh, for your report that will be automatically visible. It also creates smart narratives at the instant. So the, the, the most the good feature about this is it picks up it automatically picks up the key measures that are present and creates the report for you. You can also go and switch your measures and dimensions the way you want it to. You can then if you don't want average quantity per order i want to just look at sales or orders for example i can create a order based reports and it will give me a dynamic report based on orders only i can then change my dimensions instead of measures as well so if i want to do by region for example or by city i have city i have region i can do it by product or i would say category subcategory and products so Power BI can automatically create a report based on whatever selections that we want to have. Now, with this, I can, if for example, I am looking at region or I'm looking at city, for example, I don't want to have a, I was bar chart here. I can then go and change this clustered bar chart to a map and Power BI will automatically create a report based for on the map as well for me. Also, I can then, you know, increase my bubbles. I can add new tool tips and so on. So the personalized visual feature is also available in Power BI. I can also go and add a data table. So if I, because I'm looking at orders at the moment, I can then only show my orders table. So Power BI will automatically create an orders table for me at the back end to see how the data is. And in this way, I can have a standard report created in an instant. I don't have to even, you know, look at defining a lot of things. Then I can save this report the same way I want to save it into my workspace or any other other workspaces. I can save this here. Oops. And click on save. And yep, my report is ready. So this is a very good feature that, you know, Power BI has come up with auto creation of reports, automated reports. So, you know, this is very nice. Yeah, I would recommend, you know, you guys can go and have a look at it. Try to look at, you know, your simple reports. Try to look at, you know, how you can basically look at analyzing your data in an instant. And it's a very nice feature. So if you like this video, do comment on the video, you know, let me know what do you feel about this, how we can improvise, you know, you can post in some good ideas and so on. So thank you so much for watching my video. You guys have a great day.